In this video, I will demonstrate how to create and configure a pipeline project. As part of a pipeline project, we will add a build stage. And this is where the source code is built and an artifact is generated. Next, we'll add two parallel test stages, one on Linux platform and one on Windows platform. Once the tests are successful, we'll deploy the artifacts to staging environment. If everything looks good, then we'll go ahead and deploy to production environment. I'm logged into the Jenkins UI. Let's go ahead and get started with creating our pipeline project. On the left-hand side menu, click on the Open Blue Ocean link. And now we are in the Blue Ocean UI. Click New Pipeline button to create the new pipeline. And next, you need to select where you store your source code. In our case, it's Git. So I will choose Git. And now I'll enter the repository URL. Next, I'll need to add the public SSH key onto my Git server. So I'm going to copy this so that I can go ahead and add it to my Git server. I've added the public SSH key onto my Git server. Now I'll go ahead and click the Create Pipeline button. As you can see, it has created the pipeline. Now we are ready to add our stages in the Pipeline Editor. Click the plus icon. The first stage in our pipeline is the Build stage. So let's go ahead and name the stage as Build. We'll go ahead and add two steps to this stage. To add a step, click Add Step. The first step that we're going to add is a print message, uh, which will just say Build Demo App. Next, we'll go ahead and add another step. And this will be a shell script. And for its configuration, we'll specify Okay, let's go back. Next, we'll add two parallel stages to run tests on Linux and Windows platforms. So back to the Pipeline Editor and click the plus icon here. And we'll name the stage. The first one is Linux Tests. We'll add two steps. So to add step, click Add Step. The first one is going to be Print Message. And this will print Run Linux Tests. And the next step that we're going to add is just a shell script. And for its configuration, we'll specify Let's go back. Next, we'll add the Windows test stage. This is a parallel stage. So we'll click the icon below Linux test stage. And we'll name the stage Windows Tests. We'll just add one step here. So click Add Step, which will print a message Windows Tests. Let's go back. Our next stage is Deploy Staging Stage. So we'll go ahead and click the icon here and name the stage Deploy Staging. And for the steps, click Add Step. And the first one is going to be a print message. And we'll say Deploy to Staging Environment here. Let's go back. Next, we'll add another step, which is wait for interactive input. Click Add Step. 
To easily get to that step, I'm going to type input. And I will select wait for interactive input. And for the configuration, I will enter and I'll leave all the other fields as blank. Let's go back and add the last stage which is deploy production. Click the plus icon and we'll name the stage Deploy Production. Next, we'll add one step, which is a print message, and that'll say Deploy to Production. Next, I would like to go ahead and configure post build actions. I cannot configure post-build actions through the pipeline editor. I will only be able to do that through the Jenkins file. I can open the Jenkins file by clicking Command S. If you're on a Windows system, click Control S. So this is our Jenkins file. I'll scroll down all the way to the end to add the post-build actions. And I will paste the code for the post-build actions right after the stages block and click update click save and for the description we'll say first pipeline and we'll commit the Jenkins file to our master branch so just click save and run You see the status that it's trying to run this demo pipeline. You can click on this row to see what's happening. Now it went all the way to the deploy staging stage and then it's asking me if I want to proceed to production. I'll click proceed. It got my approval so it went ahead and deployed to production. You can view the artifacts for this build. You can view steps for each stage. You can view the build times for each stage. You can restart a stage if you'd like. You can also download logs for a stage. And if you want to go back to the classic UI, click this icon here. This concludes the demonstration of a pipeline project.